he started crushing or like ah it will not be well with that guy we could need that for say like Hey guys, it's Shikemi or Labisi the farm lady and you are welcome back to another amazing, interesting and educating video. So yeah, this guy came to me and was like, Shikemi, can you imagine this breeder sold runs to me? Runs. I like runs. How? How? Kilo Shelly, how did that happen? <laughs> I'm like, how did it happen? You're like, in fact, he's shocked that he has been giving them quality feed. He has been changing their water, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah, that is serious. So then he started crushing. I'm like, ah, it will not be well with that guy. And he make need that for say. Like, ah, God will pun. I'm like, bro, chill out. Ha. It's not that bad. Don't take it to heart. Let's get to the root of the problem. Let us know what is actually wrong. And then I asked them this question. I said, how many fishes did you stock? He said he stocked 5,000 fingerlings. I said, okay. Inside how many pond or is that just one pond? What's the um, dimension of the pond or, you know, I was asking for the dimension so as to know if there was something wrong with the quantity he had put in that pond and then my brother said 15 feet by 10 by 3 feet and I was like wait you said at this point I felt like smacking him Ideally, this size of pond can only take about 1,200 fishes and my guy stocked a whopping 5,000 fishes. Can you imagine? Can you? And at this point here, yeah, I was like, bro, you better shut up. You're the one at fault here. Yeah. What are you saying? You're the one who was stocked. Assuming you calculated your stocking density properly, then you won't be saying all this. And then it was like, oh, now I see. I don't actually know how to calculate the stocking density. How do I calculate my stocking density? So if you want to know how to calculate your stocking density and not to keep on blaming the breeder, blaming this and that, then you should keep, this video is for you, you should keep watching. Get your pen, get your paper, and let's calculate. Welcome back once again to the farm ladies whiteboard. Those of you who watched my last video on how to calculate the volume of water in your pond should be conversant with this board. Yes, so today we're going to be teaching you all, I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate your stocking density. Yeah your stocking density because it's very important you know how to calculate your stocking density now first thing first before you can calculate your stocking density you have to know how to calculate what the volume of water in your pond this is key you cannot calculate your stocking density without knowing how to what calculate this now if you've not watched my video on how to calculate the volume of water in your pond then please click around here somewhere around here i'm going to be putting the link there so you can go back watch that and then come back to watch this all right so you have to know how to calculate your volume of water or the volume of water in your pond that is very key because we are going to be using volume here to calculate what our stocking density so let's get right into it now guys here is a standard I work with I work with 10 liters of water to raise 1 kg body weight of fish now this is the standard we are going to be working with so I'm going to write it somewhere around here 10 liters equals 
one kg body weight of fish all right let me clean this up so assuming the volume of water in your pond is 10,000 liters 10,000 liters and you plan to raise your fishes to 1 kg weight that is the expected weight that is what you want to raise them to in weight so you plan to raise them to 1 kg right that is one fish equals to one kg can you see that one fish equals to one kg at the end of the production cycle so let's keep this aside first now your pond can take 10,000 liters of water and you know at the beginning i said 10 liters of water which is a standard is going to raise what one kg fish weight right now we're saying 10 liters equals to one kg now you have a pond that can take 10,000 liters and we want to find what the weight of fish first because that's the first thing you have to find the weight of fish before finding what the quantity now 10,000 liters here will be equals to x because we do not know how many body weight of fish this 10,000 liters can actually take all right so x kg now what next do we do mathematicians in the house you watch you cross multiply so as to be able to get what the weight of fish 10,000 liters of water can actually take so when you cross multiply you go, you're going to have 10,000 equals what 10 x right that is what you're going to have now dividing this both by 10 what are we going to have we're going to have what equals to 1000 kg that's it so x will be what equals to what 1000 kg so that means 10,000 liters of water can actually raise what 1000 kg body weight of fish all right 1000 kg what body weight of fish now we've gotten what the total weight of fish that this quantity of water can actually take now for us to know the quantity of fishes right the quantity of fishes that this 1000 kg will be mm? then we're going to come back here you know initially we had in mind or we said we want to raise one fish to one kg that's the expected weight the expected weight is what one kg per fish so now our answer like we saw was what 10,000 liters would raise what 1000 kg fish body weight not quantity body weight now let's move on now you know initially we said we want to raise it's 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 what we want we want to raise our fishes to what one kg that means one fish should what weigh one kg that is the plan right so if one fish will be equals to one kg then x fish right equals to what 1000 kg i hope you guys are following huh are you i hope we're following i hope you are I hope you guys are listening so you know we said initially let me go back again after calculating we said 10,000 liters of water can actually raise what 1,000 kg body weight of fish right now initially we said one fish equals to one kg that means we want to raise one fish to one kg that is what the expected weight 
we have in mind right that is the expected waste we have in mind now if one fish equals to one kg then x fish equals to what 1000 kg here because we are driving at something we want to get the exact quantity of fishes we can actually stock in 10,000 liters of water so if one fish is equals to one kg that is the expected weight that we want therefore 10,000 kg body weight equals to x fish so we we'll cross multiply again right and then we have what x equals 10 1000 rather divided by 1 therefore x is equals to 1000 fishes all right so here is our answer x is equals to what 1000 fishing so that means 10,000 liters of water would actually raise what 1000 what fishes and it's as simple as that no errors no mistake this is the simple calculation or the simple explanation to that so if you have a pond that can take 10,000 liters of water then you can actually what stock 1000 pieces of what fishes fingerlings um, provided provided you want to raise them to what one kg body weight right are you getting it provided you want to raise them to what one kg but if you are not raising them to one kg now let's calculate assuming you want to raise one fish to 500 grams let us calculate that Assuming you want to raise one fish, assuming you want to raise one fish to 500 grams, and then we're saying that 10,000 liters can take 1,000 kg, right? Now we have to convert this to what to grams because what we are looking at here is in grams, 500 grams. So therefore, we we'll say um, 1,000 kilogram converted to grams is what that's 1000 times 1000 that'll be 1 million grams all right 1 million grams so that means 10,000 liters would raise what 1 million grams of fishes right 1 million grams of fishes that is body weight which is still the same thing as what 1000 kg we only converted it to grams because we want to what, get the quantity of fishes if our expected weight at the end of the production circle is what 500 grams are you getting it so now we have what 1 million grams here so in order to get what the quantity of fishes that you're going to stock you divide it by the expected weight which is what 500 grams now let's divide together this cancel 5 divided by this is what 5 divided by 10,000 that is what 2,000 therefore 10,000 liters of water you can actually stock 2,000 fishes right if what the expected weight at the end of the day is what 500 grams I hope you get the logic so it's as simple as that so if the expected weight is 200 grams you also divide this by 200 okay so it's as simple as that and it is straightforward so the expected weight will determine what the quantity of fishes you are going to stock in your pond are you getting it if the expected weight is 2 kg then what will be the quantity of fishes to stock it should be 500 fishes so it's as simple as that and i hope you guys learned and i hope you understood what i did here if you don't understand i don't know what else you're gonna understand but yeah you can always ask your questions in the comment section so guys if you really enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section and if you're new you're just passing by 
please subscribe to the farm ladies channel i post content on cartridge farming here in nigeria thank you once again i mean your home girl she came me or labisi the farm lady and it's bye for now